Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Beat the Bookie. I'm your host this week, Sean Scott, telling you the best bets in college football this week to make us some money. Before we get to this week's picks, let's see how all of our hosts have done so far this year, including yours truly. Only the great Owen and Mike have come out on top with a profit so far. Definitely not a great look for me down there in last place, but I've done some soul searching and I'm ready to deliver this time. I promise you, I've made a rally and I have another $100 to hand out, so let's get right to it with the big games of the week. And we start out with Wisconsin at Ohio State. The Badgers coming off a bad loss to Illinois. Now they have to face one of the best teams in the country. Not sure how I feel about that 14 and a half point spread, but I'll take $20 on Ohio State money line. It may not win much money, but it will win something. Next we have the Tiger Bowl, Auburn and LSU. I try to avoid betting on my teams. Auburn is no exception there. So I'm not gonna pick a winner. Instead, I'm going to take the under 59 in this one. Look, if Auburn's gonna win this game, they're gonna need their ground attack to control the clock. And I think those two defenses are very good and they will make this a low scoring game. Still don't like picking Auburn, so just $5 on the under in that one. And finally, in big games, we had Notre Dame and Michigan. A couple blue bloods in a game that feels like a 50-50 and Vegas agrees with the Irish as a slight favorite in this one. Home teams win more often than not, and so I'm going to ride with Michigan and the potential for better payoff. Five bucks on Michigan money line. And now that those picks are out of the way, let's get to my individual picks. First up, let's go to Manhattan, Kansas, where Kansas State is a 24-point underdog to Oklahoma. The Sooners are good, but K-State can surprise some people. They got a good quarterback, and I think they have enough talent to keep it within three touchdowns. Fifteen bucks on the Wildcats, plus the points. Now, not many people are paying attention to UConn and UMass, two of the worst teams in the country, but I sure am. Remember a few weeks back, I said to pick UMass as a seven-point home dog versus Akron. Well, they won that game straight up then. That's their only win of the year so far. I think something similar could happen this week. Again, the Minutemen are a 10-point underdog versus a team that's dropping out of their conference. Psh, I'll take UMass plus 10 at home, 15 more bucks right there. Now let's head out west. UNLV is a 13-and-a-half-point home underdog against San Diego State. If you know me by now, you know I love home underdogs, especially those playing a weak offense like the Aztecs. San Diego State only averages about 22 points a game, so Vegas is assuming UNLV only scores about 7 points in this one. No way that happens to a team that went into Vanderbilt and won. Put 15 bucks on the running Rebels plus those points. And that brings us to the mortal lock of the week, staying out west, this time in the Pac-12. I love UCLA as a home underdog against Arizona State. ESPN's FBI has UCLA as a favorite, so the value here is immense. Sure, the Bruins have looked all over the place, but the entire Pac-12 is a mess, and that includes those Sun Devils. So I'm putting $20 on UCLA Moneyline at plus 130 as my lock of the week. Now, before we wrap up here, I've got five more dollars to spend, and we're going with an all money line parlay. Northern Illinois hosting Akron, probably the worst team in the country. Easy. Give me NIU. Fresno State hosting Colorado State. I'll take the home favorite Bulldogs in that one as well. Now, to finish it off, I'll take a couple home underdogs to add some value here, and I'm picking a much improved Louisville team to knock off Virginia, as well as East Carolina to beat South Florida. It's a chance to win $24.95 from just $5. Not too bad for me there. So let's review where I'm sprinkling the money this week. Feeling pretty good about Ohio State in the big game segment. Not so much about the other two big games. So just five bucks there. 15 bucks though on, on my picks. And man, I can't wait for UMass to deliver once more. Finally, I'm locking in UCLA money line at $20 and a nice 14 money line parlay to end things off. So that will do it for another episode of Beat the Bookie. Thanks for watching everyone. And let's go win some money, ladies and gentlemen.